guys, this is Claudia here from the Bookkeeping Experts. I've been a bookkeeper for a long time. Actually, over 20 years, as many of you know. And I come across all kinds of, um, all kinds of questions. And one of the popular ones is, how can I file my 1099 without going crazy? at the beginning of the year <laughs> okay quickbooks online has a lot of features that will help you do just that so without much further ado we're gonna go straight into quickbooks online all right here we are so the first thing we want to mention to you is that um, this video is not supposed to tell you who should be a 1099 who should, should not be a 1099 um, this you should contact your local government and the IRS for the guidelines, for the pro proper guidelines of what is an employee and who is an employee and who is a 1099 contractor. Now, anybody that uh, you contract and you pay more than $600 at the end, within the year, you will have to send a 1099 at the end of the year. Now, how do I track those payments is what we're gonna talk about and how can I just easily file them we are also going to talk about that. So first of all, uh, in order to make sure that this is going to work, the vendors need to be added when you categorize your, uh, your transactions. So an example of that, we're going to go to banking. So we're just going to uh, choose, let's see, pencils. Uh, this one has an expense already. So let me see something that doesn't okay let's let's a rent though here okay um you want to make sure you put a rental under uh under the vendor now here a rental is not in the system so we're gonna add new and we're gonna save as a vendor right the next thing is i'm gonna con um, categorize a rental as a contractor or if it's not here let me see cost of labor there it is okay cost of labor um, which is a cost of goods sold by the way uh, and the reason why I like to put cost of goods sold because we're consider considering a rental to be providing a service that will di be directly um, associated with a service so we put it uh, cost of a labor a rental and add the next thing is that I want to track a rental so we're gonna cap this might be maybe a refund if it is a refund by the way uh, you categorize the same thing as the expense okay so for whatever reason let's suppose they refund you on something yeah you you actually will categorize as the expense because it's gonna be a it's gonna offset that expense by the amount of the refund which is two hundred dollars okay so um, here uh, QuickBooks has a lot of AI so it's going to try to categorize the next transaction as uh, as it was categorized previously so in this case everything is right but keep in mind that you should not trust this very much you should always categorize yourself if you know and look make sure it's, it's correct but this one is correct so i'm just gonna add here and there is no uh there's no bill associated with that so i'm not uh, duplicating my expense or, or any of that so all right so uh, next thing we're gonna go to expenses and vendors and I'm going to look for a rental I didn't have to look very hard but let's suppose if uh, if if it's not right here on my face I would just type here a rental and there it is you just click over here and there you go okay now I'm going to click on the edit button on the top right hand side I'm gonna scroll down keep in mind if I have all the information here I want to add as much information as possible so I can put uh, 
Paula at arental.com. There you go. And their phone number, whatever information you have. And you want to scroll down until additional information. If you have the business information, you can put it right here. If you don't, uh, no problem. You can just make sure you click on this box on track payments for $10.99. And that's the important box for you to check. All right. So, and you want to save this. And now, um, a rental is going to be on my list of contractors. How do I see uh, all the companies or all the people that I have as a con as contractors on the left hand side menu you want to click on payroll the second option is going to be contractors so select contractors and those are my contractors and I know that a rental still need the information for the w9 the w9 is the the form that you need to file for all employees no, I'm sorry, all contractors, let's make it clear, not employees, all contractors that you pay $600 or more per year, calendar year. Okay, now I want to get the information from a rental so that we can send it 1099 at the beginning of the year. See where it says send email here? Click over there. I already put her email, so I can just go ahead and click on send. So she will receive the email from from QuickBooks um, or yes in this case it's Paula just made up a name <laughs> and she'll be able to fill out all the information such as the EIN which is the if it is a company um, the company information and if it is an individual it would be the social security number okay so after they send here then um, you'll be able to send the 1099 at the beginning of the year. Now, if you don't file your 1099 through QuickBooks Online, uh, there is a very good feature. You should track it anyways, because if you click on payment over here, all the payments that are eligible for 1099 will be listed here. So you can uh, add this number and just file your 1099 either through the IRS or through other software okay and once she uh, replies or fill out the information for the W9 uh, that we requested through this email you see the document filled out here all the information that we need from this person okay let's go back to contractor those are all my contractors at the end of the year if you if you made sure that you put the name of the the vendor in each of their their transactions um you'll be able to just click on prepare 1099 and just follow the instructions uh there is a fee for that on quickbooks it's not um it's not free but it is a good value and it's it's very simple uh, fast you can file electronically and they'll send the uh, uh, 1099 to a uh, physical 1099 to the, the contractors as well as an email with the 1099 information so it's super good I love it I love the service so and it doesn't cost much either all right so uh, that's it <laughs> for today I hope you like the content of this video if you like it give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel we like to come back on a frequent basis with all kind of tips on how to use QuickBooks online to understand your finances and take your business to the next level all right thank you for watching and until next time keep on smiling <laughs>